All right, welcome back party people. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about blind fastener solutions, specifically ones that I have used in my van build. I think you may find useful as well. I'm gonna talk about two different applications. One application to affix to thin sheet metal of the van, and then the second solution to the frame rail or through some of the thicker metal. So we also talk about how to make a DIY tool to actually set these type of fasteners. First, let's talk about the different solutions and where they really apply in the van. In the marketplace, there are tons of blind fastener solutions. I found two to be useful in my van build so far. All right, so the first solution we're gonna talk about are these particular uh, rivet solutions. And there's a couple of different solutions. This one has the kind of pre-bulbed rib around it. So these solutions work by actually compressing that bulb and they spread out into these kind of four legs on the back gripping the back of the surface and that is what gives you that compression fit against the sheet metal and that allows you to then screw your bolt into the threaded insert thereby affixing whatever you may need to affix to the walls and ceiling or floors of your van the interesting thing is is that the company sells i think these are branded as plus nuts and they sell a tool and I believe this tool cost about $40 to $50. I'd have to go look at the link on it. But it's an expensive tool. And as you can see, it only comes in the size of the threaded insert that you buy. So, for example, if you've got two different sizes here, you would have to buy two of these tools. It's really not needed. You can actually install these with a DIY solution we'll talk about in a little bit. Before we do that, I'll actually set one of these to show you how, how it works. So, we're going to take one of our smaller here and we're gonna use our tool. All right, so once you have your threaded insert threaded onto the end of your tool here, just insert this through the hole. This would be, this would represent the hole in the interior of your van. And since it is pre-bulbed, it comes up at an angle, so it's probably not gonna fit all the way, so you're gonna have to give it a little love tap to get it set. So take your wrench. I like to use these ratchet so they stay on, and uh, the longer the wrench, the better leverage you have on the bolt and i prefer to have a longer hex key as well but this is all i have at the moment turn the wrench and keep the allen key still and watch the bulbs on the back and eventually they will grip the back And you'll feel it tighten up. All right, so it's getting tight. There we go. So now we're going to release everything. And then it's just a matter of unscrewing the tool from the actual threaded insert. Like that. And you're ready to uh, use your threaded insert with the bolt. And so that's how the pre-bulbed threaded inserts work. All right, so this is the second blind fastener solution I've actually used in the van. And this is called a T-bolt. And it's named because there's a little pin hinge here. And there's a T that if you put enough twisting force on this, the T will actually rotate outwards. And then that will grip against the back of metal or a metal pole or whatever you're working with. There's also a slot in the end that allows you to use a screwdriver to hold the bolt steady as you tighten down the nut. These bolts are often used in uh, towers, cell phone towers, to, to actually affix things to poles um, where you can't reach the back side of the pole. So uh, very good for hanging things up under the van, uh, especially in thicker metal. For example, in some of the railing systems up uh, under the van, if you wanted to hang a tank or whatever it may be that has a little bit more weight on it. All right, for the T-bolt blind fastener solution, once you stick the bolt through, really all you have to do is spin the bolt and the T flaps open on the pin there and then once you tighten down you have a very tight compression fit in back here this works better for thicker metals and the threaded insert solution works better for the thinner like the sheet metal skin all right so i'm going to show you how to make a diy tool that performs the same function as this tool which can go from 30 dollars to 50 dollars online but it's just hardware that you can get from your local home store so i'll go over the stack here a bolt that has the same size and thread pitch of your 
threaded insert so the bolt should be a little bit longer than the actual threaded insert and in this case I'm using a longer bolt because that's just what I have laying around the house so the stack is a bolt with the correct thread pitch and size a lock washer a standard lock washer a nut that is just larger than the threads so it just slides over the threads no engagement and another lock washer and that's the stack and then what we're going to do is thread our cross nut onto the bolt all the way down so that it's hand tight uh, so we want engagement of the two lock washers there and now all you have to do really is insert into your hole take your spanner wrench that fits around the nut hold the nut take your impact gun drive it in until it gets tight and if you look on the back here you can see that they're spread out you can play around with the torque on your impact gun to get uh, the proper torque that matches when the feet are actually spread out and gripped on the back and now it's just a simple matter of just reversing your bolt out of the and another tip there is a lot of torque applied to these bolts and if you go to the hardware store and get a grade 8 bolt or a class 10 bolt they last a long time so if you're having problems with the threads being stripped out or the strength of the bolt in general after a few uses try a class 10 or grade 8 bolt and uh, I would say if you're gonna do tons of these things like thousands a day yes a tool would actually be very useful not probably not this tool but the uh, pneumatic tool or one of the hydraulic presses for uh, for those rivet type threaded inserts but for a van build out uh, and a few uses here and there this solution actually works really well it's really simple and if you're using different size cross nuts or threaded inserts uh, it's as simple as just buying uh, the hardware here which is you can get for you can buy at the local home store for less than two dollars all right so that'll do it for this video i hope this information was useful if it was give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time skill up and ride van up and go